What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next Duelings video. And I made a promise yesterday in yesterday's video, and today I'm keeping that. We're going to be using Marek and using a weird deck that I made up with the help of Twitter, um, specifically Ellis. And I just want to say really quick before we get started in today's video, there's a tweet on my Twitter. If you guys want to enter to win some free Yu-Gi-Oh cards, 10 packs and a starter deck, uh, check it out on Twitter. You don't even have to be following me. You just have to retweet it. Uh, I'll leave a link to that tweet in the description down below. Uh, if you want to enter that, the winner is going to be chosen on Saturdays. So if you're seeing this after that point, uh, did I say Saturday? I did say Saturday. Today's Thursday. So wait. All right. Uh, this is the deck we're going to be using today. And I think there's going to be a dueling stream soon because I need to get 75 more wins on PvP before the season ends. And uh, I've been slacking because I only have 25 wins right now. But this is the deck. It's a spear deck. It focuses on this ability right back at you. And really quick, I'm going to go into the deck so that I can show you guys what right back at you actually does. However, I think that it's a little bugged right now. I don't know why my game is running like slower than molasses on a Thursday evening. This is what Right Back At You says. Can be used in the main phase of your next turn following the turn in which you took battle damage. Select one face-up monster on your field. This turn, the selected monster's attack increases by half the battle damage received in the turn you last took battle damage. This skill can only be used once per turn. So basically you say, hey, I'm going to take an attack for 2,000 life points, and now next turn, my monster can be 1,000 points stronger. Uh, I'm, the deck that I built focuses on spirits because they bounce back to your hand, which means you're going to take direct damage, which would be the most amount of damage. Uh, you also use golden apples and enchanted javelins to keep yourself alive while taking said damage. However, I think this is glitched, and if you're watching Konami, I would really love it if you can just clarify this for me. Um, what happens when you use this ability, and hopefully we won't see it today, but say you take an attack for 2,000, and then you activate golden apples, uh, you, you summon something with 2,000 att uh, attack, uh, and you put in attack mode. And then your opponent attacks with their second monster, it's 2,100. So you took a total of 2,100 battle damage. Technically, your monster should gain 1,050 attack, right? Nope, you only gain 50. You gain the most recent attack. So all I want to know is if that's the way this ability is supposed to work, it's so much worse. It's so much worse. But if it's just glitched, and right now you just need to change it so that it adds up all the battle damage, then this ability actually has potential. So... Uh, right now, we're obviously playing with the glitched version of it or the sub, uh, like the version that I don't think is good. But this is the only Merrick ability I have right now, and I promise you guys a Merrick video. So we use three Asura Priest. This card is like the nuts, the bread and butter for this deck with the ability because you gain the attack and you can attack all of your opponent's monsters with this. The spirit returns to the back of your hand, to, returns back to your hand at the end of the turn, but you can attack all your opponent's monsters. So if you buff this thing by like a thousand and goes to 2700, bam, you're destroying all your opponent's monsters. Uh, we're also playing two Fengua <sighs> High. I don't know how to pronounce it. But basically, when this card is summoned, you destroy all your opponent's set spell and trap cards. Really, really good. Really, really love it. Um, it's a great card. And uh, it's not bad when you're playing Golden Apples. You can just tribute the, the token that you have. Uh, we're playing three Susa Soldier because it is 2000 and it gets over a lot of stuff. It gets buffed by Kaiba people. And uh, I like it. It doesn't deal that much damage, but that's okay because it's just this deck... You basically never have a board, but you don't want your opponent to have a board either. That's kind of how this deck works. Then we have Shino, but we're playing two Shino Bird Crane. I'm kind of toying with this right now. I was playing two uh, Rabbits before, and now we're going with Shino Bird Crane, which basically, when this card, uh, when another uh, spirit is summoned, you get to draw one card. This is never going to happen with this deck. Uh, it's it's so, it's, it's actually impossible. Uh, I think it's impossible. Almost positive. Unless, like, I have something face down on the fence and they don't attack and I get to flip summon it the following turn. It's the only way. Playing two Shino Bird Power Spot. That's why we're playing the Shino Bird. This buffs all spirit uh, monsters by 500 attack and defense. A really, really good buff. Uh, then, when, if a face up wind monster you control returns to your hand, you can add one spirit monster or ritual spell card from your deck. So basically, it'll help you thin your deck. That's why we're playing two of the Shino Bird Crane for the little synergy right there. Then we're playing two Super Rush Headlong because this is also really good with the Asura Priest. Uh, if you don't have the buff and, you, and your opponent has two or three monsters and you know that it's going to be weaker and they say they're all dark types because that's usually what happens right now is everyone has a singular type for the most part. Um, except for this deck, obviously. Like, we have light, earth, wind, and fire. Um, you can go ahead and say, hey, Super Rush Headlong, I'm destroying all your monsters even though I'm a weak butter biscuit. I actually did that against a Yugi because this thing was at 1,500 attack because they had Yami on the field, obviously. And uh, they had three monsters and boop, boop, boop. It was great. Then I'm playing one embodiment just for another monster that I can use to, to tribute for the Feng Hong. Um, then we're playing three golden apples and two enchanted javelins. You could try triple enchanted and uh, no embodiment instead, but this is what we're going to rock at with. We want to do at least five duels today, uh, or we want to do five duels, I should say. I'm in gold now, so hopefully some of you guys will be a little bit happier instead of me playing in silver or bronze or whatever. Um, we're in gold. So at least it'll be, it'll be something. It'll be something. Intense ranked duels. This is not a King Games deck. 
However, I probably am going to have a stream soon so that I can get to King of Games and get my 75 wins. Um, which hopefully by then will only be like, I'll need 50 wins because it's still going to be a long stream anyway uh, when we do that. It's probably going to have to be, what's today? Today's Thursday. I guess it would have to be um, potentially on Monday, the very last day of the season. All right, so we're going up against another Yami using Yugi. And uh, that frustrates me a bit because, like I said, my Azura Priest, Azura Priest, gets nerfed, gets hit, gets tackled by the Yami, right? 200 attack because she is a fairy, or he is a fairy. I don't judge. I don't care. Then again, most of the time when uh, when it's a girl, and if they're naked on the Japanese card, they cover it up. So this is probably a boy. Nipples are showing. I think they are. Three face downs. This is when you really wish you had that spirit that I was talking about before. You know, you know, remember that spirit I was talking about? You really wish you had that one that you could tribute summon it and pop that whole back row, and then he just loses instantly. Wait till I play my straight floss. Just wait for it, friends. By the way, got these sleeves because I've been leveling up. I wanted to get to level 20 so I could make this video, so I've been grinding so much while watching Kyrie. And uh, these sleeves are freaking dope. I love these Lava Golem sleeves. I really want to get, I'm assuming there's a mat then for summoning Lava Golem 100 times. Um, but I haven't even I haven't even thought about Lava Golem, I haven't even made a deck. Whoa! Banish one random card from your opponent's hand. The one I was gonna summon. No! Okay, that's fine. Let's go for this Susa. I really was gonna use that Susa right there. It was 100 percent my plan. So you don't really ever set Super Rush headlong. Very rarely do you do. Uh, maybe if you have a token on the field, that's the only time a monster's staying on your side of the field. Or the reptile. But otherwise, you keep it in your hand. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. Ooh, we're going up against. I've just played a game against a deck like this. You expected this. What is this? Conscription? Oh no! Wow. Why did that go to my hand? Cannot be special summoned. Teehee! Get good! Get good. And you have no monsters. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So now, of course, instead of using uh, Susa, we'll just use a Sora. Uh, because she still, or it still does more. Still does more damage even though it gets nerfed by 200 uh, because this Susa says, hey, I'm 2,000 beater, but my battle damage is half, so that kind of sucks for you. But it makes sense. It'd be too broken if it wasn't. Still 2,000 beater, still really freaking good. Board control is all the control. There we go. The scoop of a century. The scoop of the century against Spiritual Marrick. Spiritual Marrick out the gate. Out for blood, realistically. Woo! SR ticket at 30 wins. So we need to get that, and then there's an SR ticket at 100 wins. That's why I need those, because I need these SRs. Uh, considering I didn't get the Joey card from his last run through, that new magic card that breaks uh, red eyes, I didn't get any of those. Uh, I've been missing out on a lot of the of the farmable cards. Merrick, boy, I'm actually really happy. Merrick doesn't drop that many good cards, which is great for me because I don't really want to farm him. I mean, he's really easy to farm. I just use Labyrinth Wall, but still. But still. Let the game power of Dark. Another Power of Dark deck. Yuki, a duel with okay, we, we're still not opening up with our Tribute Spirit, which sucks. Maybe I got to up the count. Maybe I got to up the count. I don't know. I wonder if this is the same guy. It could be. No monsters. No monsters. There we go. That's what I like to see. Touch me thrice. We're going to go... Actually, we're going to go Shino Bird. I don't even want him to know that I have an Asura. I don't want him to know. See, if we had the power spot right now, we'd be set. Like, you could definitely make a different vari variant of this deck where it's just triple Shino Bird Korean, triple power spot. Because it buffs by 500. This is the same guy. It has to be. And there's no monsters in my deck that you can special summon. So guess who's going to be salty? You! What are the chances? Your Lava Golem sleeves just look so good. I think they're the best sleeves in the game. Come at me right now in the comments. Come at me! They're the best sleeves. They look so good. All right, Sheena Bird Crane, come back to my... Come back to my hand. We ain't losing advantage. We're losing field advantage. We're not losing card advantage. It's interesting because you can actually play like Wonder Balloons in a spirit deck because you, you keep getting them back. You don't really care. Once you have one of each in your hand, you really don't need them anymore. So you can go ahead and play Wonder Balloons and ditch them to give you an even greater advantage. I was thinking about doing that, but I decided, hey, what a wonderful time of day. So none of these spirits can be special summon. That's very interesting. We got another one of you. Let's go with another Shino Bird Crane. 
See, we're gonna start discarding cards. I wish we had Wonder Balloons. Please conscript me. Conscript me thrice! Time for battle! Time for battle! Oh, there we go. Another conscription. That's gonna work out for you, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. My deck 100% does not care about conscription, even a little bit. Now I have to discard a card. That makes me sad. I'm gonna discard an Asura Priest. Because like I said, you only need one of each. I could have also discarded this, but that's okay. I still believe in my cards. I draw. Kind of hoping he attacks me. That would be fun. Hey, warrior! Night Day Greffa. Gemini. That's fine. All right, here we go. We get to, we get to actually do things now. And his Yami actually helps my golden apples be stronger. Is that where you scoop? Do you scoop now or later? I guess we should just go for the win, not for the style points. Well, at the same time, I guess, hmm. Is that technically the win? I'm trying to think, what's, what's actually the win? I feel like doing this is not the win. While I feel like doing this is the win. Let's do this. Let's activate our skill right back at you and give it to our token. Because this could this could mess us up, but I really don't think it will. Let's do this. Uh, I'm not gonna risk the mirror wall. I'm just gonna go ahead and activate this and say whenever you battle a light monster, kill it automatically, kill it dead, and it did. Shabam! That's how you secure another victory against the same person. Man, gold feels easier, easier than a silver right now. I don't know what's going on. Silver must just be flooded with goodies, because go, this is 2-0, 2-0. I mean, sure, it's against the same guy. He got his chance for a salty run back, and he literally dropped the salt all over the table. He should be upset. I would be upset if I was him. Oh, those are two different people? That's crazy. Wait, what deck is that then? That must be a popular deck on on game A. Some, that must be something going around right now is conscription the deck uh, with some soldiers. I, I don't know. Rats, Raptor. Oh, we're going to get thwarted here. Totally thwarted. Other big announcement tomorrow. Tomorrow, well, there should be a really big video going on tomorrow if you like Pokemon. And the Dragon Ball Super Card game comes out tomorrow, and I'm going to my local tournament, and I can't wait. <laughs> my Duel and Dino Duel. All right, Duel and Dinos are here. He's going first. Uh, I really wish we got Power Spot at least once. Power Spot, maybe I should, maybe I should up that to three. Drop Embodiment, go for the third Power Spot. Because an extra 500 attack is a little broken. It's a little broken. Sets so a card face down, that's fine. Sets so another card face down. Yikes McGee. Uh, there's our, we, got, we drew both Shino Bird Cranes. That's fine though. Let's go ahead and summon our Susa and see if we can get over this dino. Or if we're gonna get Mirror Walled. We'll probably get Mirror Walled. I'm, I'm not gonna use Super Rush Headlong right away. Order to charge and that's exactly why I didn't want to use Super Rush Headlong. Because if I did that, I would have been a sad panda boy. A sad panda boy, and all y'all know I'm a sad penguin. That's my, that's my go-to, is to be a sad penguin, not a sad panda. Gonna set a second card face down, and summon, ooh, the element Saurus. Which is fine, we're gonna golden apples it up. Golden apples it up. We don't have to fear order to charge right now. Uh, even a little bit. So fire is what's gonna buff it, so we don't wanna summon a fire creature. Even though... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh! Is it worth? I have to do it. I have to do it. This is like, this is the calling. Buff him. I don't care. I don't care. Pop the back row! What is this? Econ! Oh, so we lose. Yeah, we lose. I should have just been this, done the safe play, but I got Zesty. What was the other card? There's another order to charge. All right, so two order to charges are gone. I'm gonna go ahead and set this. And there goes my turn. I can't even, I'm just gonna activate this because you know what, right back at you. It doesn't stack, that'd be broken if it stacked. I would've went to 3000, that's why it was fine. It goes back to my hands, I lose. I have to lose now, why can't I? Oh, if this was a golden apples, I shouldn't have done it. I mean, I would've been fine if I didn't do it. If I would've just summoned something else, would've been a fine day. Oh gosh, now we have both of these. 
All right, this is looking pretty rough. We actually don't have to use Super Rush Headlong because we're going to gain 900. Go for the battle phase. Oh, without the apples, we can't win. We need these apples, man. I mean, a 20-card deck relying on three cards is really, really, really bad. We have card advantage out the wazoo. Don't get me wrong. Oh, you do have another monster? Ah! That's worst case scenario, man. What is that? Out of seven cards, you get your one Gaia? Well, good game. Good game, my friend. You did it. I hope you're proud. I really do. All right, so that's one loss. That's one loss. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go for a uh, duel number four. Duel number four. I lost to myself. I wanted to pop those two back row. I really did. I knew they wouldn't be any problem. I knew they wouldn't. And yet, what do I do? The mirror. This is the first. I hate his picture, by the way. I think it's so, it's too ugly. I think it's too ugly. They went a little hard with him. That's right. Look at my lava golem sleeves. You fool. All right. So we don't open up with our tribute. We open up every other spirit in our deck, in our deck which is good. Variety's great. Power spot, nowhere to be seen. We're gonna see Shino Bird Crane every single duel, but never power spot. I think we saw it once today. I think we did see it once. <laughs> I summon a monster. Do you really? Do you actually summon it in attack position? Gravity Axe. He's going all in right now. He knows that I have a Susa Soldier. That's crazy. All I have to do is draw power spot and I win. It's gonna be two cards gone. Oh, he saw this card. Now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous. Can I draw power spot anyway? Nope, just kidding. Um, what do we do here? We cry repeatedly and end our turn. So you don't bother setting any of your spirits because it really doesn't matter. If you have the enchanted javelin and the golden apples, unless he has Zing Zeng Hu right here, uh, we should be fine this turn. We can actually gain a craft ton of life points and be in really good shape. I wonder what his Marek deck is doing though. I'm sure he's using right back at you or there's there maybe, I don't know any of Marek's other skills besides like the one that was used in the game. I don't know if that's even unlockable for us. Shadow game, it might be. I think this will be some of the most attack that I can take. Now the question is that I know you're all asking, do you activate golden apples here? I would say yes, so good only because 2100 is a lot. Don't put it in defense position because he's got gravity axe out. A and I mean, best case scenario, we draw a tribute monster. Draw. Just kidding. Uh, now we can go ahead and go with, we have a couple options. I would say let's go with the sewer priest. And we're gonna go ahead and activate right back at you, focusing down our um, Asura. This way, because I don't want my 2100 token to die. That's actually pretty strong. If he does have Mirror Wall, then I'd rather my Asura die. You know? Okay, there's the Enchanted Javelin. Oh, so he's playing the same thing. Now this does suck, because what happens now, you guys will see. I can either attack again or not. And I'm actually gonna choose to not attack again. Because of how the ability works right now, the second attack is what's going to, uh, I would give him an extra 1,050 attack. But now I'm only giving him an extra what? I don't even know, 350? We'll see what he plays. He has the Wonder Balloons, uh, which means I guess he's gonna discard one card and then summon a monster. I and I guess maybe that will give him enough to, to take me out? I don't know. We're both at 61. Oh, never mind. he's discarding too. He's just trying to, he's just trying to survive right now. It's funny that he's using the Wonder Balloons and that's exactly what I wanted to use. Um, let's go to Sora because it is the strongest. Now I'll go ahead and set this because we have the token on the field just in case he does anything shifty. I should have attacked with the 1100 second. That's my fault. Uh, it was 100% my fault. I'm used to with golden apples. You know, when golden apples on the field face down, you always attack with your least 
attack power first. So like my instinct is just to go ahead. But if you're versing a Marek, don't do what I just did. Do not do what I just did. Okay, summon to Jerry Beans, man. Wait till he attacks. Ends his turn, he already knows. He definitely already knows. Um, let's go ahead and let's go with Basura again. Battle. Let's go for the attack. Then we'll go ahead and use Super Rush headlong. Do it with you and say anytime you attack an Earth monster, you shall kill it. You shall kill it dead. 1,500 more life points to the face. To the face area. Now, of course, I could switch this token into defense and just wait it out and probably win no matter what. But I'm not that kind of guy. Like, look how many cards he's got in this deck. 28? It's a yikes, guys. We're going to 1,200. He plays Otohime. Ooh. Is this card's from something from something you can target one? Yeah, see, I don't like it. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, once again, Asura is our best option. And that is going to end the duel. 1,200 first because it's Marek and 800. And you die. So we killed that Marek dead. Locked myself in the Shadow Realm. Don't even trust yourself when it comes to Shadow games, man. You can't trust anybody. Nobody. This is a really cool deck. I like it. I like Spears. I've always liked them. Uh, they're not top tier at all, uh, especially with the way this ability currently works. They're definitely not top tier at all. I, I wish it just used all the battle damage you took that turn. If it, took, if it used all the battle damage, it might be something. There might be something here, but it's not. It doesn't, so you won't. And you can't. You just can't. I really wish I could find my glasses. Really do but I cannot find my glasses. All right, this is the final duel of the video. We open up Doo Doo Butterscotch. Once again, another Shino Bird Crane. I'm actually gonna risk it here. I'm gonna set one of my Asuras and hope that he doesn't attack it. I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't attack it. I really am. Hope and pray. I said hope and pray, not hope and play. When this card is normal summon, you can send one Eternal Monster from your deck to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can target two. Oh, this is one that lets you. Oh! Are you gonna get the special summon something now? You have the one you have to use as effect. Special summon the other one. I love Naturia. Come on, do it! Wow! It's like he knows! It's like he knows, man. Who attacks with a 1200 attack monster? Craziness. All right. All right, at least we have the embodiment and the Feng Hong uh, potential. I'm gonna go for the attack if my if my apple let me. There we go, 500. Sura goes back to the hand. Now, of course, my opponent's gonna have the, the Naturia counters. So chances are this embodiment will not even go off if he has a Naturia on the field while I try to activate it. Uh, so actually I should put this on. No, because I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it and get bodied by like some other Naturia. What can really... Oh, he's going to... Yes! Okay, this is brilliant. This is bloody brilliant. Let's go for this. This is totally worth it, by the way. This is 100% worth it. Pop both of those! Out of here, boy! Pop, pop, pop! Whoa, it was... Whoa! I forgot about Tribute to the Doomed! And there's the Exterior's Fang that we knew he had. Or that we, you know, we presumed he had. Assumed. Assumed? Presumed? They're like the same word, are they not? I think they're like the same word. I'm telling you, you guys know these sleeves are flames for more reasons, more reasons than one. Ooh, we got a strawberry. We got a strawberry on the field. Can we draw a power spot? Even twice? Just twice. I think we're actually gonna lose this one. I know it looks like we should not lose this one, but I think we will. Because look, we're gonna deal 500. Oh boy. Got nine or luck, but if he gets even like the smallest Naturia combo off, like he honestly should at this point, 
Um, we lose. Sets card face down. Watch closely as he summons a Notoria Pumpkin. Can't special summon because I don't. My deck counters Notoria! Wow. Um. It all depends what that face down is, man. It really does. Because we're gonna we're gonna go to 2400 right now. Just I, I think it's exterior's fang. I think it is. Exterios. Fang me! Fang me! Come on, please. No! It's the mirror wall! Come on! I mean, there was no reason to super rush headlong. Because if it was, even if it wasn't mirror wall, then my my Sir priest goes back to my hand and I lose next turn. So it is what it is. Uh, having the mirror wall, super clutch, super good job. Unfortunately, we drew zero golden apples uh, the entire time. Uh, the entire time, zero golden apples uh, and zero power spot. And either one of those would have won us the game. Easy peasy, easy peasy. If we would have had more time, we would have had a token. It would have been great. But it's okay. Uh, overall, I think this deck is fun. It's definitely not perfect. If you have suggestions, let me know on the comment section down below or on Twitter uh, of how to make this deck better. I'm sure there's some obvious way that I'm missing, but it is a fun deck. I say give it a shot. Marek's a cool guy. I think if they fix uh, right back at you, it'll be even better. With that, don't forget the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady.